Guys, in this video, I'm going to be setting up this green keeled lizard in a beautiful Repti Zoo enclosure. First thing we want to do when we set up a green keeled lizard in this enclosure is going to be add the substrate. Now for this animal, I'm going to use mulch as a substrate and I actually get my cypress mulch from a local nursery and it's 100% cypress mulch so there's nothing I have to worry about as far as like it being toxic to the animals. We use cypress mulch for a lot of different animals and it's completely safe. I'm gonna give it a good amount of substrate, maybe about like an inch or two. That way if they feel like they wanna bury themselves, they can. And green keeled lizards are arboreal animals. They're strictly arboreal. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have an enclosure as high as this one. This Repti Zoo enclosure is 24 inches high by 24 inches long and 18 inches deep. That is the perfect size for one green keel lizard. It also works great for the New Caledonian geckos or some of the smaller uh, arboreal species of lizards. So live plants are an excellent way to bring life to your enclosure. I actually like pothos a lot. These plants are very durable and they're easy to you know, they could take a beating basically by the animals. Animals can jump on them, you know, climb around them, and it's, not, it's gonna give them a lot of coverage where they could hide in between if they feel threatened or if they just wanna feel a little bit more secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the corner here. And now I'm gonna add some branches to this and bring this enclosure to life. Now the cool thing about these Repti Zoo enclosures is that if you wanted to make this a paludarium and add fish and maybe little turtles in there with an arboreal section, you could absolutely do that as well. This will actually tell you where you could fill the water up to. Such an awesome enclosure to play with and different species can go in there. You can make it look real nice. All right, so next I'm going to add some branches for the green keeled lizards to be able to climb on. And let me see if I could just kind of jam this in here. That way he could have a nice perch there. I'll add this one here. Let me add it here first. And you gotta remember, when it comes to arboreal lizards and setting up an arboreal enclosure, you wanna fill up the volume of the enclosure, but it's not gonna make sense to have a bunch of empty space that, up here that the animal could actually use. So what I'll do is I'll kinda like hook these vines up on the, on the branches to make it look real nice before I add any more branches. That way as this plant starts to grow, it will actually grow on this branch right here. Now, let me add this here. I love these little uh, palm fawns that fall off my palms here in Florida, so I always use them for the animals. It gives them a lot of, you know, different branches and many little areas that they could climb and hide in, so I always love those. And same thing with this too. I'm gonna put this one in the back, going across. So as you can see, the volume of this enclosure is fully filled up. You know, the animal's gonna be able to climb over here and it's going to be able to thermal regulate in the enclosure on its own. Okay, now that you have your enclosure set up, you wanna make sure you have the proper lighting for a green keeled lizard. Now these guys, uh, they, they could tolerate, you know, hot temperatures as long as there's places where they could cool off. In this room, it's about 78 degrees throughout the day. And especially when we come up here, it's gonna be like 80 degrees. And I'm gonna add a UVB bulb because these guys do need UVB. If you're in a cooler pl place in your house, you could add a small heat bulb of about 25 watts in the corner of the enclosure. That way they could bask and feel warm. But since it's already pretty warm in this shed, I'm not gonna do the heat bulb. I'm just going to do the UVB bulb and that's gonna be what these guys need. Now for green keeled lizards, you're gonna want to use a 5.0 or a rainforest UVB because they come from a forest, a rainforest area where there's a lot of shade and they could have a lot of different spots to get away from the UVB and they're not fully exposed at all times. Okay, so now we're gonna add our UVB bulb. Go ahead and turn that on. And I'll add a small little heat lamp that I'll put right here in case it does want to get warm. It could go up there and bask and get a little bit warmer. 
So now that we have all that set up, I'm gonna add a nice little water dish in there. Now these guys are insectivores. You're gonna wanna feed them mostly insects, but I have heard of different people feeding them crested gecko diet and they will actually eat it. Personally, we only feed insects. We put crested gecko diet in there, but we never really see them eat it, but it's up to you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the green killed lizard in here now. Green kill lizards are a little sketchy. They're a little fast and not the best to handle, but if you work with them, eventually they will become very, very trusting of you and they're very smart lizards. So it's probably not gonna take that long, but this guy is a little bit more on the nervous side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just let him out and explore his own home right there. You can see he's gonna, no, he's gonna take some time to explore the, the whole cage when you're, when you get any animal, you wanna let them settle in their enclosure for the first couple weeks. You don't wanna start handling them or stressing them out, moving stuff inside their enclosure too much. You kinda of wanna just leave them alone and let them be for the first couple weeks. And once you notice that they're starting to eat on their own and pooping and doing everything that they need to, then you can start to try to interact with it. All right guys, so I'm not gonna go ahead and feed this guy right away. I'm gonna get him settled in and then in a couple hours, I'll try to throw a couple crickets in there, see if he takes them. But for now, that is all. And I wanna let you guys know that if you do want one of these beautiful enclosures, check out Reptizoo in their website. They have enclosures like this and a bunch of other products that you could use for your reptiles. This is honestly one of the most beautiful enclosures that I have here in the gecko shed so it's you know a very slick look and it's easy to set up when it came you know it took me about 15 minutes to set it up but other than that you know it, it works great and the display is really is, is really pretty i like the the black edges and if you want to get it check out the link in the description